Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. And welcome back to Mass Effect 3. This is Hill here with Commander Zendarius Shepard. All right. We're getting close to time for combat and I do have what may be a little bit of bad news I did not apply a GUI patch when I did all this modding of the game as a result the galaxy map didn't work along with some of the terminals here now I ran the patch but you're not supposed to do that when you have a lot installed a lot of textures it says it breaks the game I did a little preliminary testing. The game doesn't seem broken yet. So we're going to go ahead with this episode. But if I do encounter a stopping point and I have to redo the game and mod it all, just to let you know that if there are delays in you know the next episode or something like that, it is because I'm having to redo the game. Hopefully it won't come to that, but they have some very serious warnings uh, about modding the game after a lot has been stalled. But it is a patch. It's just a GUI patch, and hopefully it didn't break the game. Anyhow, let's look at our terminal. We have lots of messages. And most of these are about new armor and new weapons. And, of course, an urgent warning here about, well, a Reaper invasion. So I'm just going to go ahead and let these mark themselves as red. We do have the priority mission, Eden Prime DLC installed. So we'll be headed to Eden Prime at some point, probably soon. Um, you know, they're talking about battle and people being assigned to ships and whatnot. Uh, it's an intelligence database, but we're, we're just going to go through here. I don't think there's much that's just critical. We have the new weapons here, Valkyrie Assault Rifle, Argus Rifle, Edie welcoming us back. Uh, we've gotten some more N7 weaponry. Who is Captain Fob? Captain Fob. I grew up on Horizon before joining the Alliance military. It was a long time ago. Okay, I don't know who this guy is. My parents were trapped in stasis by the collectors and would have been hauled off if you hadn't intervened. All right, well, that's nice. We got a glyph upgrade. Some of the data you found allowed me to research an upgrade for you, and we need to go down to Dr. Tassoni's office. Uh, SR2 retrofits. I believe this may be part of the EGM mod not so sure all right new sniper rifle the Indra sniper rifle and Liara thanking us for stopping by now uh, this is the official reinstatement papers a new shotgun the AT-12 Raider okay and that was that so yeah before I applied the patch I could not exit from this terminal when I was trying to read these uh, documents and this second terminal here wasn't lighting up the war terminal okay so we need to talk to specialist trainer it's very quiet in here very quiet alright let's talk to specialist trainer we missed our in our meeting the crew of the Normandy episode last time so let's talk to her now commander come to check on your new recruit just wanted to see how you were doing. Still trying to get my bearings. When I was working on the Normandy's upgrades, I left at the end of the day. I didn't even have a toothbrush or a change of clothing until I made some emergency purchases on the Citadel. Well, I could have helped. Next time you need something, just ask. We're all in this together. Oh, it, it, it's no trouble, Commander. I'm sure you have larger concerns. We can put in a requisition order. 
My toothbrush is a Scission Pro Mark IV. It uses tiny mass effect fields to break up plaque and massage the gums. It costs 6,000 credits. Okay, yeah. You're on your own with that. In any event, I appreciate you giving me the chance to stay. Was there anything else? People, could you imagine a toothbrush costing that much money? All right, let's ask about your lab job. You worked in Alliance R&D? Yes. You'd think quantum entanglement would make communication easy, but imagine incorporating multiple incoming sources and then networking them with extrapolations of time lag data to construct a coherent situation GUI. It's an exciting challenge. Um, for me, anyway. I can't decide if these graphics have been downgraded on Shepard or not with this patch. I'm not sure. Anyhow, the reaction to the war. I'm surprised you're worrying about a toothbrush. We've got bigger problems right now. Oh, believe me. Seeing the Reapers on Earth was terrifying. But I won't help anybody by bursting into tears here in the CIC, will I? Being here on the Normandy helps. If anyone in the galaxy can stop the Reapers, it's you. And if flagging your messages and managing strategic intel helps you in any way, then it's worth it. Let's ask about her joining the military. How'd you end up in the military anyway? My family didn't have money for university. When the Alliance saw my aptitude scores, they offered me a full scholarship. I served my required years after graduation and decided to stay. I really like the challenges of the lab. Al although, I'm sure I'll grow to love frontline service as well. I'm sure you will. Let's ask about her personal history. Where are you from originally? A colony in the Terminus systems, actually. Though I studied on Earth, at Oxford. My parents were from London. They loved Earth, but they wanted the freedom a colony life could offer. If they stayed in London, I imagine they'd be dead right now. So many people are from London in Mass Effect. That can't be a coincidence, can it? Don't talk like that. A lot of people back on Earth are still alive. And counting on us. Quite true, Commander. All right, that's it. Carry on, Specialist. All right, here we go, people. We're opening up the galaxy map for the first time with our gooey patch. And it opened. Okay. <laughs> what, the, what happened before is it just went to a black screen. There was nothing. You could hear the music, though. All right, um, is it these flashing areas? Oh gosh, because this is where we need to go to rescue the Turian Primarch. What else is available? Exodus Cluster to recover the Prothean Artifact. That's the DLC. Olin Protectorate. I'm not even sure what that is. And we've got something else flashing out here. A Cerberus lab on Sigurd's Cradle. I think that's one of those N7 missions. Well, I think we better help the Primarch. Let's go. Search and rescue. The Normandy is equipped with a new and improved scanning pulse that can detect objects of interest. Use this to uncover war assets, artifacts, intel, and fuel as you fly around a system. Be aware, however, that each time the pulse is used, the chance that Reapers will enter the system to investigate is increased. If a Reaper enters the system you are in, flee and wait until you've completed a mission before returning. All right. Uh. Yeah, I'm almost. How do we scan L? Left trigger. Okay, nothing. All right, we're just going. We're going here to Manet, Palavin's Moon, to rescue the Turian Primarch. Let's go. All right, Palavin's largest moon has been shrouded in secrecy since the dawn of the Turian space age. During the Krogan rebellions, the hierarchy classified nearly all data on Mene and its sister moon, Nanus, because they feared that Krogan could use the moons 
as weapons by smashing them into Palavin's surface. You know, that is so common in this, this era. Um, anyhow, however, some information has leaked out. Images of Turian bases where personnel walk without enviro suits indicate advanced infrastructure, likely a network of subterranean tunnels with powerful mass effect field generators that retain heat and atmosphere over swaths of the surface. The Reaper's plan for bombarding the bases were met with fierce resistance by the Turian fleet and the moon's, oh boy, anti-aerospace defenses. With their easy victory stall, the Reapers deployed a variety of ground units to take the bases one at a time. The Turians have the advantage on the moon, but the Reapers have the patience to slowly grind them down. With every base captured, the Reapers deny the Turian fleet another place to repair or refuel. All right, let's go. Okay, well, we only have two choices here, Liara and James. Let's go. Okay, we are going to continue on, I think, with this armor set. Although, oh, look, we got a new one. We are actually going to go with some power damage here. Oh, and we still have health boost available. Alright, we will switch to this armor set. Oh, this, this looks good. We'll... Wow, okay. Alright, let's go. What? 11 more points? When did this happen? Hmm. All right, let's get the fitness maxed out here. Okay, delay of the shield charge and health and shields by 25%. All right, Liara. Let's make sure your cooldowns are optimal. Is that weapon damage? All right, power and force. James, let's see. Does Arms Master do power damage? Uh, shield recharge delay. And we'll do the recharge speed on Carnage. All right, let's go.
Oh no. No. Palavin. We have an old friend there. Holy hell. They're getting decimated. Strongest military in the galaxy, and the Reapers are obliterating it. Was it like this on Earth? Yes. Shepard. I'm so sorry. Yeah. Commander, the LZ's getting swarmed. James, open that hatch. All right, clear the landing zone. All right, let's get a uh, incendiary ammo. Welcoming committee. Oh, what do we have here? Spare parts? All right. 1,250 credits. These are Turians. Look at that glowing armor. All right. Supposed to find the commanding officer. It's like a group of important people over there. What's up here? Okay, nothing. What we have here data pad. All right, 1875 credits, and here is the M97 Viper. All right, we'll continue. Okay, that's unlocked for us. Tavestic, get your men up on that north barricade. Yes, sir. Sergeant Bardas, find a way to get that comm tower operational. Sir. General. Commander Shepard, heard you were coming, but I didn't believe it. General Corinthus. I've come to get Primarch Fedori. Primarch Fedorian is dead. His shuttle was shot down an hour ago as it tried to leave the moon. That's gonna complicate things. Hmm, you think? <laughs> so how are things here on Manet? How bad is it, General? We just lost about 400 men in half an hour. What? We set up camps on this moon as an advanced position to flank the enemy. A sound strategy. Just... Irrelevant. Exactly. The sheer force of the Reapers seems to make them immune to that sort of tactic. The Primarch and his men found that out the hard way. Hmm. Damned Reapers. I'm sorry. That's a big loss for everyone. Reaper bastards. So what happens now? The Turian hierarchy provides very clear lines of succession. Right. General Corinthus? With such heavy casualties, it's hard for me to be certain who the next Primarch is. Palavan Command will know. However, at the moment, contacting them is impossible. The comm tower is out. Husks are swarming that area. We can't get close enough to repair it. Well, I'm not leaving this moon until I know where the new Primarch is. I'll fix your tower. Thank you, Commander. I'll take care of things on this end. All right, let's go. I see the comm tower, to the left of the main barricade in front of Palavin. Let's go! Alright. It seems like this game is trying to put his helmet on and it's not putting it on. 
So this is telling me that I may have to uh, reinstall the game. Alright, let's see. Is it over this way? Oh, what's this? Assault Rifle Piercing Mod. Oh, I'm sorry. This is the M27 Scimitar. Okay, we'll take that. Assault Rifle Piercing Mod. We'll take that. Thank you. Something over here, too. Med kit, data pad from Commander Hexnar. They sent us winter gear. Not sure what they thought we'd do with that kind of gear here, but I suppose we should thank the spirits nonetheless. The power sources can be cannibalized and converted to power. Our combat gear's filtering units instead. At least. It'll be nice not to have those clogging up anymore. Okay. Got Hanai Kadar Greaves. All right, is this a door we can go through? It is. All right, let's go. Be ready, everyone. kind of husks that when their feet are lifted off the ground, they die. Alright, we're going to have to be a little bit more cautious. Alright, is there anything to pick up around here? Ammo. Oh, looks like we're good. Okay. Communication tower. We can't repair it from this panel. Oh, uh, let's have James go make the James, repair. you're up for tower repair. On it. Might take me a while, but I'll do my best. Here they come. I want Liara's biotics. You bet. Let's take these monsters. Where are your biotics? Got it done, Commander. Wow, that was quick, James. I thought that was going to take you a while. Yeah, I can do that too. General, do you read? The comp tower is now operational. Much appreciated, Commander. I'll contact Palvin Command. Let me know when you've got something. I'll help your men till I hear from you. Understood. Shepard out. <laughs> Are they but they're behind us too? If we 
got. Commander Shepard, come in. Go ahead. I have information from Palavan Command. Please return ASAP. On our way. All right, let's go. General Corinthus. What have you got? As your partner said, succession is usually simple. But right now, the hierarchy's in chaos. So many dead are MIA. I need someone. I don't care who. As long as they can get us the Turian resources we need. I'm on it, Shepard. We'll find you the Primarch. Garrus. <laughs> Vicarian, sir. I didn't see you arrive. At ease, General. Good to see you again. I thought you'd be on Palavan. If we lose this moon, we lose Palavan. I'm the closest damn thing we have to an expert on Reaper forces, so I'm... advising. James, this is Garrus Vicarian. He helped me stop the Collectors. He's a hell of a soldier. Lieutenant, good to see you too, Liara. Good to see you in one piece, Garrus. General Corinthus filled me in. We know who we're after. Palavan Command tells me that the next Primarch is General Adrian Victus. Victus? His name's crossed my desk. Know him, Garrus? I was fighting alongside him this morning. Lifelong military. Gets results. Popular with his troops. Not so popular with military command. Has a reputation for playing loose with accepted strategy. Hmm. Playing loose? What do you mean? On Tatris, during the uprisings, his squad discovered a Salarian spy ring about the same time the Turian Separatists did. Rather than neutralize the ring, he fell back. He even gave up valuable fortifications which the rebels took. Then the rebels attacked the Salarians, and when both groups had worn each other down, Victus moved back in. Didn't lose a man. Bold strategy. But wild behavior doesn't get you advanced up the meritocracy. Primarch Victus. That should be something to see. All right, we need him. Unconventional thinking might be the only way to save Palavan. And Earth. He'll do whatever it takes. Reminds me of an old human specter I knew. Okay, let's get him on the shuttle and get out of here. Commander! Shepard, come in! Can this wait, Joker? We're in the middle of a war zone. We've got a situation on the Normandy, Commander. It's like she's possessed. Shutting down systems, powering up weapons. I can't find the source. I need the Normandy standing by. We may have to bug out. Should I go back and take a look? Do it. Garrus, you said you were with Victus this morning? Yeah, but we got separated. He went to bolster a flank that was breaking. Could be anywhere out there. We're trying to raise him, Commander. Incoming Harvester! Headed for the airfield! Alright. These things are so ugly. <laughs> General, tell Primarch Victus we'll rendezvous here. In the meantime, let's go take care of whatever that thing dropped off. Coming, Garrus? Are you kidding? I'm right behind you. Alright. So, yeah, I don't know if this is a... A graphical thing that with him not having a helmet or I didn't choose a helmet for him all right let's uh give Garrus some points here so what is this increased force and damage radius oh boy I'm going with force and damage Shatter, force and damage. Frozen targets or recharge speed. We're going with recharge. Alright, um. Let's get this overload going. Alright, damage. 
No, no, we don't need neural shock. We'll take recharge. And some points in Turian Rebel. Okay. Ah, I should have gone with the armor piercing, but okay. Guess we're good enough for now. Let's go. Alright. Do we have all the ammo we need? Yes. Okay, which way are we going? Uh-oh. I don't know. I don't think it was the same way that we... Yeah, it's this way. We don't have any markers or anything. Come on now. you breathing so hard? Atmosphere's a little thinner than I'm used to, is all. Oh, what's this? Assault rifle magazine upgrade. Nice. Uh-oh. Alright. Overload. Overload. Missed. Is that an abomination or is he just on fire? Garrus? Overload. Anything else out here for us to collect? Look at this. I didn't. I don't know if I ever came over this far and looked at these ships out here. Look at all this. Wow. This really is quite a military encampment here. Thing. Supplies, okay. 2,500 credits. Alright, I think we're done here. Let's go. Still getting the hang of these controls. Go ahead. Still trying to raise the Primarch, but we've got trouble back here at the main barricade. What? If the Reapers breach it, we're done. On my way. Oh boy. Do I have to use this gun? I think I'd better. Head on a switch. Okay, come on. They're on the barricade. Okay, where are they now? 
bosses are these? Whatever happened to the easy ones? You just lift them off the ground and they're dead. Can I move? All right, what do we need? Uh, warp. Carnage. Oh! Garrus, look out! <laughs> Primark. Still can't get a stable comm link. Okay, I'm going on foot. Shepard out. Garrus, take me to the last place you saw Victus. Oh, level 34. All right. Yes, we can do a save here. And people, we are going to end the video here <laughs> so this isn't running on for too long and we will continue in our search for Primarch Victus. This is Hill and I'm out.